Today I'm going to be trying the 75 hard transformative mental toughness program that is described as an Iron Man for your brain. Let there be light. I've seen this flying around everywhere on TikTok, YouTube, and I think it's been around for maybe a couple years now, I'd say. I really wanted to give this a go. So this challenge was created by Andy Frisella. Let's talk through what we've got coming up today. So follow a diet. This can be a diet of your choice, but must be structured to plan designed with physical improvement in mind. Two 45 minute workouts. One workout must be outdoors. No alcohol or cheat meals. Take a progress picture every day. Drink one gallon of water. I believe that's about just under four liters. Read 10 pages of a book. Audiobooks do not count. Zero compromise, zero substitution. You have until you go to sleep to complete the day. If you fail, you must start over on day one. Wow, that sounds a little restrictive and intense, but we're gonna give it a go. 75 days of that would be a madness, like very intense. Let's start with breakfast and a coffee first. So for the diet, I am going to eat how I normally do, which is high protein. I'm going to track my macros and eat in a caloric deficit for the next 48 hours. I'm gonna start with some protein oats. I have this most morning. Breakfast is chocolate protein oats. I've gone for a chocolate, Belgian chocolate flavored whey protein, banana, peanut butter, some fig. So, so amazing and tasty. <laughs> fig is so nice in oats if you haven't already tried it. So it says to do progress pictures daily. I thought I may as well just do like a video instead from the front to the side to this side. And then I'll do the same again at the same time tomorrow. And then I'll do a weigh in. Weigh myself again tomorrow at the same time. Okay, let's look at how much water we're drinking today. So that is 4.5 litres and the challenge is 3.8 litres. So we'll do all three of these. Let's round it up. That's a lot. I'd say I probably do drink about three litres a day already. So yeah, I'm going to just be spending most of my time <laughs> in the toilet today. I'm going to try and drink one of these throughout my workout. I'm going to add some BCAAs into one of these. God, that is actually so much water when you look at it right in front of you like this. So let's get started. Time's knocking on. Using um, a mango flavour. This is actually so nice. Makes me want to drink way more water. If you're not really a big water fan, I'd really recommend getting a nice flavoured BCAA that you can just add in to your water. End up drinking way more throughout the day as well. Okay, I'm making a quick coffee. I have a coffee like as my pre-workout, which is just my favorite thing. I'm actually really liking my coffees black at the moment, but because I want to get to the gym now, I just thought I'd drop a bit of milk in so it's not scorching hot. Mm. Still scorching hot. <coughs> Oh my God, that was really, really tough. I've been focusing more on working on my mid-back. <sighs> oh, this reminds me of, um, someone sent me the other day, let me find it. It's like leg day versus when you train upper body. It is the truest thing, hang on. Yes, queen, this slay, is leg day. <laughs> slay, <laughs> slay. <laughs> Take your rightful place upon the throne. If 
you're wanting that snatched waist, make sure you're training your upper body. One of my biggest regrets from my entire fitness journey is not training upper body, thinking that I would get big and bulky, which is the biggest misconception. Anyway, I'm gonna make some lunch. I'm thinking just air fry. I'm just gonna make something quick and easy. Do you know what? I'm actually struggling with the water intake today. I couldn't really finish this. I feel like my belly's just gonna be very bloated after all this agua sin gas. I've done my 45 minute workout. I've had a high protein breakfast. In this challenge, obviously it does say no cheat meals. I don't necessarily believe in cheat meals exactly, but I'm not having anything sort of art, like sugary. I'm just having all whole foods in this challenge. In this challenge, it does, it seems pretty strict and it's not an approach I completely follow. I do think elements of obviously having discipline and if you want to see results, it's about just finding an approach that works for you and with doing two workouts a day like that it's quite excessive however if you were to do a 45 minute weight session in the morning and then a 45 minute walk every day like that is way more achievable rather than doing two workouts like i know i'm going to be tired tonight I'm thinking later on just a steady 45 minute jog see how far we end up it's really hot here today so i don't want to go out just yet <laughs> Here's what I'm having for my lunch. So we've got some, we've got lots of protein going on here. So chicken breast, three eggs, and then some higher protein seeded bread, which is so good. Avocado for healthy fats. And then I made this little salad. I just chopped some fig, apple, and used some balsamic vinegar. I'm absolutely ravenous now. <laughs> Avocado on toast is just, oh, it never gets old, does it? <laughs> Okay, I'm changed. Da, da, da. About to go on my 45 minute outdoor run. I actually love training outside. I don't normally do like, I wouldn't normally like do a run and a weight session. Right now, I honestly, I can't be bothered. It's plenty. It's such a feel good song. If you're feeling a little bit, a little bit meh, like mid midday slump, I'd really recommend blasting that. I did want to mention these sunglasses. So I, don't really like, you know, dark sunglasses. Like if you're outdoor or whatever, it sends me to sleep. So I like these orange lenses because they protect your eyes obviously from the brightness, but don't, don't send you to sleep. Don't know if any of you guys have ever had that before or if I'm just strange. I'm so full of water right now. I think if I was to do this every day, I'd need to re-strategize the water intake because oh, I just feel like I'm going to need the toilet in as soon as I step out the door. <laughs> right now like oh that is too much water i much prefer training fasted in the morning i think these glasses are giving out uh, john lennon aren't they like a bigger version i can't tell if i enjoyed that or i hated it <laughs> such a morning active person like oh, dripping with sweat it's quite hot actually as well but really nice with the sunset Got back from my run and oh, I can't even speak. I'm tired. It's I think it's about half five and yeah, I did about six point six k. So off the list, we've done breakfast, lunch. I'm gonna have a snack actually. I might have a rice cake. Rice cake. I might have um, either a yogurt bowl or like a rice cake with some peanut butter. And yeah, we did the back day from Live and Lift app and then we've done an outdoor run. You could just do a 45 minute walk though or like whatever out, outside. I think it is so nice, especially at sunrise or sunset to be outside like doing your workout. It's a bit of a switch up. And then water, I think I've got about two liters left. And then also to read my book, which I'll do later on. What's this you're putting in? Satori chocolate mushroom. What's this? So this is a mushroom uh, 
uh, blend, superfood blend, helps mm -hmm. with stress response, anxiety, chilling out, sleep. Yeah, it's really, really nice. I've used it in some baking bits as well. Where can people check you it can out? check it out on satorisuperfood.com. And whose brand is it? And it's mine. It's <laughs> oh my God, that's so nice, isn't it? This tastes like a McDonald's chocolate shake. So it's made with organic cacao. Mm, can you make me one? Day two of the challenge, the 75 hard challenge, and yesterday was so good. Looking back now, I feel like I actually quite enjoyed it. Today, I'm just about to have my breakfast. I thought I'd train a little bit later today, so it's quieter in the gym, and I've just made some oats, which I'm just about to have. I washed my hair last night, so it's looking a little bit crazy, but um, I went for a really nice deep tissue massage last night, which was so needed. I feel like my body's been twitching lately and today I'm going to train lower body and then I'm going to do a 45 minute outdoor like paddle session with some friends this evening. I'm going to have a lot more water early on in the day because last night I think I woke up four times to go to the toilet like drinking that amount of water uh, too close to going to bed is not not an idea so if you do give this a go definitely try to get as much water in as possible. So I've had my greens this morning. That helps so much with digestion and everything. I really like that. And then I might read now. I read before bed and my eyes, I was like falling asleep. I feel like I read three pages and I start getting really tired all of a sudden. I shall do the progress pictures now. I did weigh myself this morning. Obviously, it's actually quite a big fluctuation, but your weight fluctuates so much. You really can't go always off like the scale weight day to day. It's obviously good as a general like consensus over an extended period of time, but day to day it's always gonna fluctuate, especially with women's hormones too and water intake. There's so many variables that affect your scale weight. I've been flicking through a lot of different books recently and I'm still reading S-H-I-T, they never taught you kind of like an overview of loads of amazing books. I'd really recommend it. The really good thing about having a Kindle is that you can just go jump on like different books depending on what you're in the mood for. But I think it's a really good idea doing 10 pages a day because it's not, you're not trying to, you know, finish a book in a day, but it doesn't actually sound like that much. And I think whenever you're setting goals, that's always a good idea. Like just say to yourself, right, I'm going to do a 15 minute workout. And then usually by the end of that time, you want to carry on going anyway. So when you've read 10 pages, you'll probably be inclined to do more but if not that's also really good like so this is my breakfast this morning and mason's breakfast i can't decide which looks nicer pop in the comments which you would prefer this is a different consistency it's like my baked oats but in the microwave the recipe uh is in one of my what i eat in a day videos and then i've just gone for my normal oats
update on day two. I'm feeling good. It has been a challenge for sure. I just feel a bit fatigued, to be honest, today. I think I felt fatigued all week and I just felt like I was up all last night going to the toilet. We've got one litre of water left to do and just the outdoor 45 minute workout. I'm going to play paddle with some friends later. It's my third time playing paddle and I'm not very good at it, to be honest, but I'm getting better, I feel like, each time. I can actually hit the ball, I think. Let's hope. Had high protein meals today. I've had breakfast, had chocolate protein oats, and then I just had some chicken, sweet potato, and some of this bread stuff that was lovely. And then um, I have enjoyed it, but I do think it's not necessary to go this crazily intense. Like I think obviously if you're doing a 45 minute walk a day and a workout, that would be a lot more sort of maintainable. And if you've got any fitness goal, if you want to actually sustain it, it needs to be something that you can implement daily without it being a real stretch or something that's unrealistic. And for me, it would be unrealistic right now when I have so much work on to fit in like two hours of working out basically. It's so much more maintainable, enjoyable as well, to create a lifestyle with habits that you can implement daily. So for me, it just means increasing my overall taily, uh, taily, total daily energy expenditure. So, so my step count has been an absolute savior, not only helping me get results, but uh, maintain those results. So what I'll do with my routine is follow a program. So I follow my programs from my app Live and Lift, and that is a weight training program. And then I'll maintain a step goal of around 10K steps. That is my usual form of working out and then I'll throw in like a run once to one to two times per week I absolutely love and I enjoy it so much and that is why with anything if you find yourself in these loops where you feel like you achieve a certain result that you're going for say if weight loss is your goal but you don't really know how you've got there and that might be because for so long like for a short stint you've been able to have these like crazy routines that you can't really maintain over the long the long haul and what the goal is I think and ultimately creates the most happiness is having routines and sort of strategies in place that you can actually maintain and enjoy so yeah I, my two pence on this challenge is I think it's obviously a great challenge and maybe it will suit some people but for me it would just be too restrictive and intense and not something like I feel like I could personally keep up with over a really extended period of time. That's something I've made the mistake of in the past, whereas now I feel like I actually know my body a lot more. I know what works, I know what I enjoy. And that comes from having some accountability, a program in place and something that's not restrictive. Like I don't believe in cheat foods or like certain foods being off limits by any means. I think it's all about finding your balance and that looks different on all of us, especially when it comes to nutrition. Like I've made a huge mistake before of trying to cut out anything sweet. My life was just miserable back then whereas I love sweet foods I have I just find ways to implement and make things say higher protein like my breakfast I'll make a chocolate protein oats and I look forward to that every single day and it's just finding what works for you it's, it's going to look different like I say but yeah I really hope you've enjoyed this one let me know what are the challenges you'd like to see me do next I think I had a few requests for the 10k food challenge I don't know how I feel about that I hope you enjoyed this one if you aren't already I'd love to stick around by subscribing and I'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.